What's up guys, it's me Eric B and welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to be doing a nice first ride and review on this 2019 Yamaha R6. Stay tuned. Huh. So I think this place used to be a Sonic. Alright guys, so I finally finally got my hands on a fourth generation R6 and this thing looks so clean. Oh my gosh, it looks freaking beautiful. Um, I have not done very many first rides on a lot of 600s uh, other than like the Triumph Daytona 675R, Jixxer 600. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. And I know I've been doing a lot of leader bikes, but I wanted to bring you guys another 600. So here it is. Just look at this thing. It's freaking gorgeous, man. I love the way that this bike looks. These uh, fairings are not stock. I believe these are aftermarket that he threw on there. Um, the original color is white, but it uh, looks really good together. And I do want to give a shout out to my boy Marcus for loaning me the bike today. Check him out on Instagram at twoface underscore two wheels. All right, guys. So real quick, some of the stuff he has done. Pirelli Rosso 3s, full Akrapovich exhaust, which sounds really good. And I'll fire that up for you guys here in a second. Uh, frame slide. CRG levers, GPR stabilizer, he has a Power Commander 5, uh, what else? Yeah, some mirror deletes because he has the bar ends on here, and they look really good. And uh, as far as that goes, that's really all I see on here in the zero gravity windscreen, by the way. All right, guys, so it's been a while since I've been on a 600. So without further ado, let's get this out on the road, see how she rides. And uh, as always, before we do that, let's cut to the B-roll. Get this bad boy fired up for you. Hear what she sounds like. All right, here we go. I don't know how well the GoPro mic is doing it justice, but uh, sounds good. Yeah, the bike's already warmed up. I'm trying to get a different angle here. See if the sound sounds any different. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's get out of here. Whoo. Oh, man. Straight from the jump, y'all. Let me stop for a second. I have not been on a sport bike in a hot minute because I've been used to uh, riding my uh, FZ10. If I can get this in neutral. Um, like already holy cow like I have to put my legs up so high on the rear sets on here and I don't remember my Jixxer 1000 being like this but good lord I feel like I'm in the fetal position but just uh, ergonomics wise I'm 6'2 for uh, those of you that haven't seen some of my previous videos um, I flat foot this pretty easy I've always heard that the R6 had a, uh, a taller seating position out of all of the uh, 600s I don't really feel that much of a difference. I don't know, maybe just because I'm a tall guy. It's, uh, it's a lot different. <laughs> Gotta get used to that. What's up, bro? I feel really hunched over. I'm in a very aggressive seating position on the R6, and that's to be expected with the R6, because, uh, I mean, this thing is really track focused. All right, so the quick shifter on here is pretty smooth. I know some of the quick shifters that I've uh, dealt with, they're kind of kind of notchy. This one's uh, pretty smooth when it shifts. And that's, like I said before, the factory uh, Yamaha quick shifter. So this thing is iconic on the street. Like when you hear 600, you usually 
think of a uh, an R6 right off the bat. Um, at least I do. And uh, this thing has been out for about 20 years now, man. I mean, it was introduced in 1999. Four generations of this bike. And this is by far the best looking one. Now, I heard, I don't know if this is right, but uh, this is basically kind of like a Gen 3 with like new clothes, you know, new fairings, new body, stuff like that. Very race oriented. Not so much for, uh, you know, the street and everyday riding and stuff like that. Just because, I mean, it's not a, it's not a comfortable bike. All right, so in terms of power, this thing, uh, it doesn't have the down low punch that I'm used to. I mean, my MT-10, even my Gixxer 1000, man, it would freaking, you pin the throttle and it would freaking send it. <laughs> so this is a standard 599cc, um, about 120 horsepower and about 49 foot-pounds of torque somewhere in there. So we don't have the same <laughs> torque numbers as a 1000, but that's okay because this thing is a screamer up top. The engine on here is nice, man. So they, I think the last time they updated it was 2008, um, and it hasn't been updated since. So I mean, that doesn't really mean anything. I mean, it's an older engine, but the thing still performs. It's good to be back on a sport bike, I tell you what. All right, talking about the looks department, this thing is freaking awesome, A plus. Like, this is a sexy bike. Um, like I said before, one of the nicest R6s uh, that I've seen. And I think the newer R1 kind of did the front end like the R6, if I'm not mistaken. And then just the, uh, the sound of a 600, man. They sound good, especially when they're just up top screaming. Yeah, something like a cross plane of an R1 or something like that sounds sexy as hell too. It's just something about a 600, man. I don't know, maybe it's just me. So Yamaha makes a really good bike, you know, all around. Like, not crazy expensive, um, pr pretty decent quality. And that's the MT lineup, uh, the flagship R1, and even the R6, man. Great bikes. I don't know, what you guys' thoughts? What's the best handling sport bike that Yamaha makes? Is it the R6 or is it the R1? In terms of uh, hitting the twisties and stuff, I'm going to say the R6 but uh, some may argue that, I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, this thing freaking sings, man. God, that sounds so, and it just climbs. The RPM just keeps going and going and going. This is a high revving monster. So that's the thing, man. If you guys want like down low power and torque and everything, you're gonna have to go with something like a leader bike or get a, uh, a naked bike even. These bikes aren't meant for down low power. They're, they're all up top. Um, that's why this thing is beautiful on the racetrack. But the only problem is when you're riding this thing around town, you're not really gonna get the power out of it. I mean, you really have to ring this thing out in order to really enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? So it screams, but it's not like a punch you in the face, I'm gonna rip you off the bike, like 1000 type of power, like when you're, you know, running through the RPMs. But man, it's freaking so, it's so satisfying. All right, so if you're someone new to the bike world and you wanna get a sport bike, can you start off on a 600? Um, so you have some people that will say, no, you should start off on a 300. And that's typically what I recommend as a start off on a smaller bike. But I think you can start off on a 600. The R6 isn't bad just because it doesn't have a lot of that down low torque and power that could get you into trouble. I mean, you really don't start seeing all that power until you're way up into the power band. Tell you what, my freaking FZ10, man, is a freaking beast down low. Like the torque is unreal. And then you hop on this and you like pin it and you're just like, where's the power? <laughs> yeah, there's not a whole lot for the uh, 600 class out there. 
it seems like everything is going towards 1000s now so all the features um all the cool electronics and stuff that they get they get like the nice tft displays you don't really see 600s with them um yeah they get all the wheelie control launch control all that type of stuff and speaking of features so this does have uh power modes it has three power modes so a uh standard and b mode so a mode is the most aggressive on this bike and then it does have traction control and um and abs and i believe this tack is from like a 2009 r1 <laughs> Just wanted to hop off the bike so you guys can see it one more time in all of its glory. God, it's so beautiful. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I don't know. If I went sport bike again, it'd probably be an R6. For sure. The seating position, uh, I couldn't do it all day every day. Um, this would definitely be a track bike. And then, you know, just going out every now and again, having some fun out on the road and stuff with the boys. But yeah, you don't, um, as far as, like I said, the electronics and all that stuff goes, sometimes you don't really want all that stuff. You really just kind of want to feel the bike and do everything yourself. Because when you start getting all these rider aids and all that stuff in there, it kind of takes away from the fun factor of the bike, you know? <laughs> I don't know, leave me a comment. What is your favorite generation of this bike? I know a lot of people like generation three. I am a fan of this generation. Also, how does this compare to the other 600s? Maybe some of you guys have had, you know, a Gixxer 600, a ZX6R, an R6, maybe even a Triumph. Let me know. <laughs> oh my gosh, it just, the sound of it, it sounds like you're just going like light speed. There's just the RPM, the sound of the motor, and then when you look down, it's like, oh, I'm only going like 120, 130. On a liter bike, you'd be at like freaking 160 or something by now. For those of you that like to knock on 600s, man, screw that, 600s are awesome. Yeah, they may not be able to hang with liter bikes up top. But they have enough power, man. They can get down, and they're really nice in the curves. Oh, this has been an awesome first ride, man. This bike is a screamer up top. I love it. If you guys have an R6, let me know down in the comments below what generation you have. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And if you're liking what you're seeing, guys, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.